This video is brought to you by NordLocker. More about them later in the video. To be efficient as a structural engineer, you need to use software. And unfortunately, a lot of the big packages that we use can be quite expensive, especially when we look at those packages for such as eTabs, Bentley Systems, or Ansys, or Abacus, any of them. The prices can skyrocket to tens of thousands, if not hundreds of thousands of dollars. But I'll be going through my five top software that I've recently been using, and a lot of these are currently free. So you don't need to spend the big bucks to do that advanced analysis. My name's Brendan, your structural engineer. Now let's get into it. The first one is an advanced FEA analysis. And when we think about complex FEA assessments, we think about big dollars. However, this software is totally free and open source. It's called Open Seas. It's a completely free open source software for both structural analysis and design. It also goes into non-linear assessment. A lot of big FEA software packages that you pay big dollars for don't even do this non-linear assessment. Open Seas can be used to analyze a wide variety of structures from both buildings, bridges, and large civil infrastructure. So it is really quite versatile for the package that you get. And being an open source tool, it also gets a big community around it of active friendly users that are always willing to help you out. So if you get stuck or if you're looking for help, someone's either solved it before so you can search through the community, or someone can help you out. Because a lot of the time you get stuck on how you do the analysis in eTabs or Bentley. Trying to find the right groups to ask those questions can be quite hard. But OpenSeas has a big active user base, allowing you to access some of the best knowledge around the use of this software. And with the money you're saving, you can have the time dedicated to learn and making sure you're utilizing the best out of this type of system. This next tool isn't totally free, but that doesn't mean that it's something you should not look into. And this is a platform called Victor. It's not so much a software, but is a platform that allows you to bring your engineering tools to the next level and providing the versatility that such things as Excel packages do not provide. So what is Victor? It's an online cloud platform allowing you to make simple web widgets that can either do complex or simple analysis with the backend being in Python. So if you ever tried to do those Python scripts and tried to hand it out, it can be quite hard. And the problem with things such as Excel is the fact that people can take that software with them, essentially you losing that IP. Being this online platform means that it can be constantly being updating, making sure people are on the latest version. Not only do you protect your IP, but you're also making sure that everyone is on the latest version and you don't have many different SKUs with people saving them on their local drives or not updating to the latest version of the Excel sheet. And with being in Python, it means that you can also link it up to APIs. It means that you can run loads through the whole structure, grabbing different APIs from different software and plugging it in. So it's really a bolt-on to any system that you have. So it doesn't matter whether you're using Bentley systems, eTabs, or a combination of both, you can use this to call on the loads from this location, pulling the loads from a different location and combining them and making sure that your analysis is combining both the structural systems and the lateral systems together, making sure you're designing for the correct areas. Meaning you don't fall into any of those copy and paste errors that can happen quite often with you plugging in the wrong numbers. And being more versatile in Python, it means that not only will it run faster, but it also gives you more versatility about what the tools you make. So it means that the higher ups, especially if you're trying to sell this to a bigger community or bigger companies, you can really sell the benefits that people can't just take that spreadsheet and move on to the next company and utilize it. Number three goes back into a free platform that allows you to leverage the power of programming. And this is called Colabs. Now, Colabs is an online tool provided by Google that allows you to script online web widgets that anyone can use. Now, when you first look at it and open up, you can get a little confused. It's just a programming script that you can run in the background. With a couple of simpler modifications that you can see here, you can turn it into a semi-web widget type of way, allowing users not to see the backend script, but still utilize the script to the fullest potential allowing you to change many factors, either through sliders, numbers, you can even have data validation in here as well. Just say you need to hold numbers, round numbers, or even words, it allows you to make sure that they're putting the correct inputs into the correct locations, as it can be quite hard to debug, especially if you don't have that technical knowledge. Meaning that you don't only leverage your time in programming something like this, but you can leverage other people. And this can be a quick, easy way before you jump onto a platform like Victor, you can do that same benefit in a platform like Colabs. Now it won't be as slick, but it still has some of the additional benefits of you programming in Python, but also having a tool that'd be easy to use for someone that doesn't have that same background in programming language. Thank you NordLocker for sponsoring this video. NordLocker offers an end-to-end -end cloud storage service for business to protect your data. So whether you need protection from data leaks, ransomware or theft, they have you covered. 
And whether you're a small or large business, data security is something that is important to all modern businesses today. Whether it be customer data, employee data, or even company IP, the loss of control of such data can be detrimental to your reputation. So why should you choose NordLogger? Well, it's built on a zero knowledge background meaning that they have no access to your unencrypted data unless you provide them the keys. They also provide an easy way to backup and sync all your data. So it doesn't matter if you have a remote team or local team or just teams on the go, you'll always have access to the most local files and shared in a secure way. They've also created an easy to use interface that you can use no matter where you are as it is cloud-based. So whether you're using it on the app, desktop, or even just for web-based services, it gives you access to your data wherever you are. All you need to do is click, drag and upload the data to making sure that anyone has access to the data whenever they need it. So use the link in the below description on the screen along with this code and you'll get a three month trial on NordLocker. So what do you have to lose? You can try it out risk free. Now let's get back to the content. This next tool, this is a program called Wrapped. Some of you may have heard of it, especially if you're based in Australia, but if you're international, you likely have not. Now this is a powerful versatile tool for doing structural computation packages. You can see quite simple, but it provides you a lot of feedback about what loads are being calculated, what forces are going where, and how systems are actually behaving. Quite often, I'll jump into a program like RAP before I jump into a more complex assessment such as Bentley systems or RAM concept, as I can see how each strip is actually behaving and reinforce it in the correct way. It also allows me to verify those more complex 3D analysis softwares. Now, RAP is not only just for Australia, even though that's where it was started based. It has many other international codes in it, meaning that not only if you're doing computations in Europe, ACI, Canada, or really most other places around the world, it offers you that power to do those computations in your local codes. If you do need to check concrete structural designs, you need some way of versatilely doing this. And this is a really powerful tool that only does post-tension and RC design. It also does the complexities between columns and frames, meaning that you can validate not only those concrete columns, but also those PT analysis and how the forces and deflections are going to go. But if you quickly play around with wrapped, you can see how you can pull the forces from places that you don't want them and move them to locations that you need them to go. So this is a really quick, powerful tool allowing you to quickly frame up and scheme up a system or even double checking the analysis that you're getting out of them. This next tool, and this is SkySiv, and following along the lines of looking at online platforms and moving engineering into the 20th century, this is also an online tool. So it doesn't matter where you're working, you'll always have access to it. So you can share it between people, colleagues in different locations quite easily. Or even just if you're going from site to the office, it means that you don't need to make sure you're saved things on a local drive or have access to the local network. Now, SkySiv is not totally free, but it does have a free level, meaning that you can try it out and get some of the benefits that this software has without costing you a big dollar. SkySiv offers a wide variety of packages to help with your engineering needs whether you just need to do wind computations, look at the seismic behavior of certain areas, doing either structural design in concrete, steel, or even looking at timber potentially. It allows you a wide variety of tools to do these assessments. It also has bolt-on FEA packages, meaning that you can do both 3D and 2D frame analysis. SkySave is quite an easy package to pick up as they've really looked at the user interface and how people interact with it to make sure that you don't need to have a big learning experience to use a tool like this. Software is only one part of a tool chest. They also need to have a lot of structural knowledge and how structural systems behave. And I've got a video here that will bring your precast designs to the next level with the principles that you need to know in precast structures. And if you're interested in supporting the channel, it really helps me out. And I've got links in the below description and there's two ways that you can do this. You can either become a YouTube or Patreon member. Their support greatly helps what I'm doing here and helps bring this type of content to you. My name's Brendan and I hope to see you next week. Bye.